Hey there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Um, today we're going to be doing, we're going to slow things down. If you've got a block or a cushion, please have that so we can start with it. If you don't, then it's fine. You don't have to sit on a block or anything, but it can be quite nice just to elevate your hips a little bit. As we're moving through this challenge now, you might start to feel a little bit tired or a little bit achy. So today's practice is just going to be great to just really just pull things in. We're going to open up through the upper body primarily, but we'll also do a little bit of uh, side body, whole body type um, work as well. So make sure you're nice and comfortable and then grab your block or your cushion. And we're going to come into a Japanese seated position. So just having it um, lo long lengthways so you can sit down on it. Tops of the feet are pressing down and toes pointing back. Taking some time just to make yourself nice and comfortable. Resting the hands down onto the thighs. And when you're ready, just closing down your eyes. Starting to take a few deeper, fuller breaths. Just noticing just how you're feeling today how your body's feeling. I'm starting to take a few deeper, fuller breaths. Just feeling into the body and just how you're feeling today. allowing the face to be soft and the shoulders soft. And let's recall our Sankalpa. Repeating it to yourself in the present tense three times. Bring the attention back to the breathing, slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. One more time like that, deep breath in through the nose, exhaling out through the nose. Let's continue to breathe in and out through the nose and let's open up the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side. Take the arms out to the side, taking an inhale, palms and hands come together into your prayer position and then draw the hands down through the centre line, just in front of the chest and then once again release the hands, inhale, reach the arms up, palms together and then exhale, folding down and one more time, inhaling, palms and hands come together and then exhaling, draw the hands down. Take the arms up to shoulder height, reaching out through the fingertips here. And just taking a moment, just extending out through the fingers as much as you can. Taking an inhale, turn the palms to face towards the ceiling and thumbs start to point down as the sternum lifts and the eyes lift. As you exhale, we're going the other way. So we turn the thumb down and back, C curving through the spine, tucking the chin in, draw the navel in. And then again, going the other way, extending up through the upper body, thumbs pointing back and down. And then exhale, curving the other way, thumbs pointing back, chin tucking in. And again, inhaling to extend. And then exhale to C curve through the spine. We'll go two more times. Inhale to extend. And then exhale to curve. And then coming back 
to centre, palms facing up, reaching up out through the fingers. Take an inhale, reach the arms up, palms together, and then exhale, taking a twist to the right back, uh, the left hand just on the outer right thigh, turning the eyes to look towards the right shoulder. Right hand or fingers can just be down behind you or wrapping that right arm behind the back. Thinking about lengthening up through both sides of the waist, staying connected to the breathing. Take an inhale to lengthen up through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, see if there's any more space to turn to the right. And then let's release back to center. Take the arms up, inhale, exhale, twisting to the left. Right hand to the outer left thigh, left hand behind you or wrapping it behind the back. Finding a spot for the eyes to come to stillness. Just over that left shoulder. And as you inhale, think about lengthening it through both sides of the body. As you exhale, right side of the body turning towards the left. Taking one more inhale, lengthen up through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, see if there's any more space. And then taking an inhale to return back to centre. Let's take a few shoulder rolls here. So forward, up and back. Forward, up and back. And again, forward, up, back. And then let's reverse, so we're going back, up and forward. Just nice big circles. This last one. And then let's take this right arm and place the right hand onto the upper back and use your left hand to hold the right elbow. Just encouraging the muscles at the base of the neck to relax away from the ears. And then often these lower ribs want to pop forwards. You want to draw them in and at the same time the back ribs climb up. So we're going to hold it here and you can choose to hold here or you can reach back and take hold of your monkey grip. So coming into your Gomukhasana arms here. And if you like to use a strap with this pose, then please feel free to use a strap or scarf or something like that. And then once you're in your position, find your breath. And here, just let the gaze be steady. So tip of the nose if it feels comfortable, or you can just gaze slightly forward on the ground in front of you, just keeping the back of the neck long so we're not dropping the head forward. Just using your breathing to meet the rising sensation in the body. This can be an area that we hold a lot of tension, so it can be quite an intense pose. Oh, we'll be here for another three breaths or so. Noticing if there's any way you can soften, particularly on the exhale. Releasing the jaw. More last breath here. And then gently unwind the hands just taking a little moment, just letting the shoulders settle back down. And then taking the right hand away from you, we're gonna come up onto that right shin and extend that left leg away and take the left arm up and over. Just taking this beautiful side body stretch for a breath. And then returning back into your Japanese seat. Let's take a moment, find your Japanese seat and then we're going the other way. So taking that left hand, take it to the upper back. Right hand takes hold of the left elbow. Taking a few moments here, drawing that lower rib, the lower ribs in, back ribs climb up. Steady spot with the eyes. Either choosing to stay here or if it's available and you'd like to, using your strap or taking that right hand up to monkey grip with the left hand. So noticing if there's any way you can soften. Three more 
more full breaths. And then gently releasing those arms. Just letting the arms hang for a moment, letting the shoulders recalibrate. Taking that left hand away, placing the palm down and then extending that right leg away, pressing down through the outer edge of the right foot, right arm comes up and over, opening up through the right side body. You may be looking up towards the ceiling here. Deep, easy breathing. And then taking an inhale to return back to your Japanese seat. And then let's come over, uh, come off the block, just pop it to the side, coming into your tabletop position, tucking the toes under and coming into down facing dog. Once you're in your down facing dog, let's take a pedal out through the feet. Allowing the back of the neck to be relaxed and then allowing the heels to settle back towards the mat, taking an inhale and then exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, heels dropping down, allowing the head to just be really uh, heavy and relaxed here and either holding onto your forearms or elbows or if you'd like to interlace the hands at the base of the head, you can take this variation here. Just allowing the weight of the hands to create a little bit of extra traction for the spine. Keeping the knees bent here as much as you need to. And one more breath. Releasing those arms, walking your hands back out into your down facing dog. Taking uh, the right leg up into your three legged dog, inhale, and then exhale to step it forward in between the hands, coming down onto that left knee, releasing the top of the left foot down. Arms extend up into your low lunge. And taking a couple of breaths here, grounding down through the right heel, lifting through that left hip, maybe shifting the hips a little bit further forward, lift the sternum up, inhaling. As you exhale, let's come over into our side variation of this lunge. Forearm can be down on the thigh, or if you can't, you'd can, you like to use a block, pop a block down, or if your hand can come all the way down, hand down onto the ground. Maybe eyes looking up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale and then exhale, coming back to centre here, tuck the toes under, lifting the back knee off and step back into your down facing dog. Taking a breath here. Rising up under the balls of the feet, taking that left leg up into your three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, come down to the right knee, release the top of the foot down and then taking the arms up into your low lunge. Grinding down through that left heel, maybe shifting the hips slightly forward to lift the sternum up. Taking one more inhale. Exhaling, bring that left forearm down, right arm coming up and over or down onto your block, onto the mat and maybe eyes looking up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, coming back to frame the front foot, tuck the back toes under, stepping back into down facing dog. Taking uh, three breaths here in your down facing dog. 
settle the eyes somewhere. Drawing the kneecaps up. Lower ribs hugging in. And then taking an inhale, start to shift forward towards the hands, coming down to the knees and coming down all the way onto your belly and into your sphinx pose just for a moment here. So elbows underneath the shoulders, pressing down through the forearms. And then we're going to take our broken wing here, but a variation with a straight arm. So extending this left arm out to a 30 degree angle and then resting your left ear down onto the mat, using your right hand to roll yourself over onto the left side of the body and then bending the knees up to a 90 degree angle. Just using this right hand to help support you there. Let's find the breath. And you might feel like this is enough and just stay here. If you'd like to, you can bring this right foot back behind you, starting to deepen into that opening, to that left upper chest and inner left arm. If it feels comfortable to close down the eyes, feeling free to do that. Noticing if there's any letting go that can happen. Taking one more inhale and then exhaling to roll back onto the tummy. Just take your time. Turn your head to look to the left and let's just let both arms relax down by your side for a moment. allowing the upper body to completely relax. And then bring the forearms forward again. Just taking your sphinx as we transition to the other side. Extending this right arm out to that 30 degree angle position, turning the head to the left, using that left hand to roll yourself over onto the right side of the body and then bending the legs up to that 90 degree position. Allowing the left arm to relax down. Either, either staying here or possibly extending that left leg back and trying to stand down onto that left foot. Try to slow down your breathing. Three more full breaths here. As you inhale, just very gently starting to roll back onto your belly. This time, let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders and press yourself back into your child's pose. If it's possible, knees together, feet together. If not, you can just open the knees out and then take the arms down by your side if, if that's okay, allowing the shoulder girdle to curve down.
And bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, coming up to a seated position. Sit over to one side, taking the legs out long, and then coming down onto your back. Feet, just hip distance apart. Taking your arms down by your side, palms facing up. And we're going to take some mobilizations for the scapula and the shoulder area. So trying to keep the arms down on the ground, take them up above the head to shoulder height and then back down again by the hips. So inhale as you take the arms up, trying to relax the muscles at the base of the neck away from the ears and lower ribs staying in and then exhaling to bring the arms down. Let's continue here. Just depending on your shoulder mobility and tightness, you might find that you do need to take your arms just a little bit up off the ground if you're feeling quite tight. We'll just go a few more. And last one. Bringing the knees in towards the chest. Just hugging the knees in and pre trying to press the back of the pelvis back down onto the mat. Relax the shoulder heads down. Taking an inhale, squeezing everything in and then exhale to extend the legs out long. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Coming into your Shavasana. Just allowing the whole body to relax. Soft face and soft shoulders and soft belly. Whole body letting go. We're resting here for the next few minutes. Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. Otherwise, let's start to deepen into the breathing. Slowing down the inhale, filling the whole body. And as you exhale, allowing everything to soften even more. One more time like that, deep breath in. Exhaling completely. When you're ready, let's bend the knees up one at a time, rolling over onto the side of your choice. It's taking a couple of moments here on your side. And then starting to make your way up to a seated position. Just 
Once you're in your seat, just closing the eyes again, resting the hands down onto the legs. Feeling the length of the entire spinal column. Grounding down into your seat, allowing the face to be soft and the shoulders soft. Noticing how we've cultivated a state of quiet alertness here. Bringing the palms and the hands together into your prayer in front of the chest, bowing the head down towards your hands. It's acknowledging your effort to come to the mat today. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.